the album. It's uh, it's not got some, it's not gone so much over budget. It's just uh, a lot of the overheads and that, that you don't expect to pay and stuff like that. It's uh, cost a little bit more than what we thought we were going to cost. Let's let's just let's not like leave it at that. It was great to be back in studio recording these three new songs. But I also realised at the time that it's going to be the last time that I go in definitely. It's, uh, it's just become it's just become too hard and too much of a slog. You know, when you start off singing and that, when you started off singing when I was a kid and that, was someone that I loved, someone that was quite easy to do. And then, you know, 20 years later, so, you know, it's a, it becomes a sort of like, uh, becomes a sort of like a bit of a slog when you sort of like trying to do it. Just because of what's wrong, just because of what's wrong with me is. So, I enjoy doing it. I enjoy doing it because, you know, it's, it's three new songs that people have never heard. So that's, that's the reason behind it, really. That's the reason why I want to do it. Basically, after, after 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 the album and after the box set, and that, I'm going to concentrate on writing a bit more. So it's this is uh, the sort of like my legacy sort of work with, with me, where, it's, where music's concerned. But I want to go on and keep on writing, and that uh, I've got a few more ideas. We're going to be sort of like. Chosen stories with illustrations or whatever, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to concert, we're going to, going to, going to sort of like try to get, just try to get involved with one and we sort of like right inside and that, but can't be able to do that now with music and that just looks, looks a knackered and that, so I won't be able to do that with that, so yeah, I'm going to concentrate my next year while I'm right inside. I'm not really talking about the outside and stuff like that, but the right inside is just. Yeah. I think, I think the big taxes influence what to me was when, when I had Ted Up Explodes and that with a trombone sound and that lot that we wanted to sort of like, you know, do something pretty similar to that. Well as, well as I did, I had an idea that would have sort of big bass, get a big bass sound going and that. But, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's lots, there's lots of sort of like things in there that's, you know, I mean, the way that we read music, the way that we wrote music, and we were changing, we saw sort of like every song that, you know, every song that were released and that with different sort of like style of music, it's just sort of like shows that how much music that I listened to when I was a kid, what sort of like musical, you know, influence I had. And it was a lot from punk to classical to sort of like rock and roll to, to all sorts of stuff. I mean, that's what really that you get with rival taxes and you get with rivals as well with Cage. A good sort of like solid mixture of music that you can sort of, you know. Palace is, uh, it, it gets exaggerated from time to time, it gets exaggerated from time, but a lot of it was true, yeah, it would have uh, been a, a bit of a nightmare uh, from the very sort of like, from the very sort of like off a bit. We, uh, we set off in the morning and basically it's just like six lads, like six, get six lads together, three of them that likes drinking. So, a few that like smoking, you know. So, yeah, uh, it was sort of like a bit of a party from sort of like from the off. Uh, thinking, thinking branding from half past nine in the morning and that bottle ends so we got to Cali. And then we met up with some other lads from Keithley who were sort of fans of ours and that, and then we decided to uh, uh, wait in. Waiting to waiting to cross the uh, waiting to cross the channel. Uh, channel. We uh, we had a bit of a party on top of uh, Mercedes Van Roof and that one. So yeah, with uh, the John looking up at us and that lot pointing machine guns at us and stuff like that. So it was a bit of a, it was a bit of a sort of like a nightmare. It's that it's that a bit, but uh, just 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 
the bit drinking too much and that like an end of that. But we, we, were, we were all enjoying ourselves, we are not arrested or anything like that, but you know, we, we just took it a little bit too far. But at the end of the day, we played a good concert, that's what people saw about after. Good concert. There were, uh, uh, what else did we do? Uh, we were, it, it was silly, we were silly times then, we were on at like 5 o'clock in the morning and stuff like that, so we had to wait. We had to wait, you know, I mean, hours and hours and hours before we got on stage and that was so. Yeah, things like that, because we're all going to get pissed. Uh, not, not much else we could do. You know, but, you know, but, uh, the thing about uh, running around Paris half naked, that, that's a bit of a, a bullshit thing in that one. You know, I don't think about half naked. You know, like running around that, but the, uh, the hotel room got set on fire, yeah. yeah. The, uh, Jumps sort of big toe and come looking for us and that one. And uh, one of my mates had thrown a jumper and he landed on a lamp. And I landed on the lamp. And I've been there for about 20 minutes and that one caught fire. So there's photo of getting all the hotel rooms and that one. And it's like, uh, where's this uh, where's this fire? And that. And then, so, like we didn't realise at that time about it, 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 what of the rooms were the fire, one of the rooms were the fire. Of the room, the fire of the <laughs> I don't see reasons, reasons for living. Kate started off as uh, just a songwriting partnership between me and Al. We were going to write songs for, uh, for other people to record. So we spent probably about sort of, six months writing songs in this living room. And then Cal got involved, I got Cal involved. Basically, we heard that, uh, that Phil was interested, his full man today from Mox Music was interested in it. And he wanted to, uh, he wanted to win this album. So, he heard the album and that, but then from that, he says, uh, I'll give you a record, I'll go out and i you record deal on the album if you get a band together and play cage yourself so that's what we did we uh we got some uh other studio musicians in that one we got um we give it a go it worked uh big work smile from rival taxes and then that was first release and then Second release from the uh, on expression with Cage. Uh, and it was about like it was about expression, but it had a lot of record, they had a, a, a lot of sort of like, you know, dinosaurs that have been there 20, 30 years and that not anyone. So like quite uh we didn't have the money to, to promote us enough really. That's what happened with her uh, expression. But yeah, uh, it was Phil's involvement with taxes from the beginning, say like 1991. And they've been following us for a few years. As somebody they wanted to sign up. So when the chance uh, when they got the chance, yeah, they uh, they signed us up for Gary yeah. Home come along. Uh, 1996. Uh, I had a break, I think, another about three, three or four years break from music. I was still writing, continuously writing, and that's, that's sort of like what happened to me. Is, uh, I stopped doing the band for so, you know, I'm, I'm writing all the time, continuously writing. So I get some more songs, and then what I do then is I go out and find a band that wants to work these songs with me. So that's what happened where really. we both. We, uh, I had some friends from school, really good musicians, got together, rehearsed. Rehearsed for nearly seven or eight months and then took it out a few times and that and uh, played a few concerts. And then what happens then here, it starts getting bad, bad, really bad. And uh, so I left the band and, and then put prizes in form from sort of like, you know, the uh, the ashes of home, whatever. 
been um, uprising my health for three years. Uh, did okay. But, uh, yeah. It's always sort of like, people made my love some last few years and that, like, how, how, how good my hearing is, how bad my hearing is. So, it's sort of like, uh, 